the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 92, 1 Samuel 13 to 14, the start of the 500 years of monarchy. Saul was scared of the people more than God and committed the sin of making the burnt offering himself. This disappointed God greatly. First point. The 500 years of monarchy starts with Saul and ends with Zedekiah. The Old Testament contains 39 books and they can be broken down into the Pentateuch, the 500 years of monarchy and the seven books during the Persian Empire. To look into the more specific details of the 500 years of monarchy in terms of prophets, the start was Samuel and the end was Jeremiah. In terms of kings, the start was Saul and the end was Zedekiah. The 500 years were a continuation of opposition and cooperation between prophets and kings. The 500 years experienced two major divisions, one after the death of Saul and the other after the death of Solomon. Second point, the first king Saul moved closer to the people and further away from God. After Saul was appointed king, he was unable to assert authority straight away. Moreover, there were some people who did not accept Saul as their king. The incident of Jabesh Gilead became the turning point for Saul to start his monarchy. At first, Saul was a very decent king. But after two years, the Philistines attacked and so Saul prepared 3,000 soldiers as his personal bodyguards. Saul furthermore recruited more soldiers. But when the Israelite army came face to face with the Philistine army, they hid to the east of the Jordan. Philistine had an incomparable number to them. When such a situation hit Saul, he first had to make an offering. But when Samuel did not appear at the promised time, Saul went ahead and made the offering himself. Seen from the perspective of a kingdom of priests, this was a huge sin. It was crucial that the offering was conducted by a priest. When Samuel rebuked Saul about this, Saul did not repent. This became the start of Saul moving further away from God. Third point. More so than being interested in making the offering, Saul was interested in gaining victory. Out of the five offerings in the kingdom of priests, the burnt offering symbolized life and the fellowship offering symbolized peace with neighbors. As such, these offerings were not to be used for the purpose of winning wars. Therefore, when Samuel saw Saul making an offering with the purpose to win war, Samuel prophesied about the end to his lure. Fourth point, the first person Jonathan found to be the same in heart as him was the one who carried his weapon. The son of Saul, Jonathan, always looked out for someone who served a kingdom of priests. The first person Jonathan came across was the one who held his weapon, and the second person he came across was David. When battle broke out against the Philistines, Jonathan went out to fight with the one who carried his weapon. It was unlikely 
that the Israelites could win the Philistines with their sword and spear, but Jonathan had faith that battles belonged to God. The one who carried Jonathan's weapon went out during the first battle against the Philistine and brought victory. Jonathan and Jonathan's weapon bearer showed much courage during the first battle which made them fearful to the Philistines. Fifth point. Samuel broke the soul's wrongful offering and the people broke the soul's order. Saul made two major mistakes while conducting the war between the Philistines. The first was that he failed to believe in the miracle that Gideon and his 300 soldiers experienced. In other words, Saul did not believe in the miracle of a kingdom of priests and so he made the mistake of conducting the offering himself in order to hold the Israel soldiers. The second mistake Saul made was ordering to the people to fast during war. Fasting made the Israel soldiers weak, which of course did not help in war. This furthermore led to the soldiers hunting for animals and eating their blood. Moreover, Jonathan, who did not know about the soul's orders, almost died because of it. Jonathan was just about able to save his life. As such, Saul made some very stupid decisions during the battle with the Philistines. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference, and when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible, and he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.